Hey guys, I'm Elliot. This is Everything Elliot. Today we're in the shop and behind me is George. Now you might remember George from the uh, old abandoned tractor that we picked up. Uh, what was that thing? 54 A 19, 1954 Alice Chalmers WD-45. Uh, it was non-running when he picked it up and he does actually have it running now and using it on his farm. Unfortunately, that is not today's subject of this video. Today's subject of this video is a Dirty Hand Tools log splitter. So this is a Dirty Hand Tools log splitter. I think it's what, 22 ton? Yes. 22 ton, he says. All right, and the issue we're having today is the hydraulic cylinder is leaking. So we gotta get this thing apart and get it fixed. I believe George has a seal kit. Quality. Made in China. There you go, just like everything else these days. All right, so this is not your typical hydraulic cylinder. Most hydraulic cylinders have a cap on here that you just screw off and pull it out. But if you guys remember my Kubota video, this is gonna be the same type of cylinder that I rebuilt on the Kubota. This has a C-clip in here. Gotta pound this past the C-clip, pop the C-clip out, and then uh, rip the cylinder apart somehow. First thing we gotta do, we, you can see we already got the wedge off of here we gotta take these lines off so we can uh, actually move that cylinder. So we'll get the hydraulic lines off, we'll beat that faceplate in, and try to get it apart. If you take them off here, we're gonna have to actuate this to allow fluid into the cylinder. But if, but if you take them off here, we won't have to actuate this to allow the cylinder to move. Will that unscrew? Ready, tighty, lefty, loosey. There you go. Yeah, that might not have enough uh, wiggle room. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Yeah. Put that back on. All right. I don't know if you guys can see uh, Theodore still alive. So keep those subscriptions coming in. I'll keep buying cat food. You're gonna be quick enough to put your thumb over that and get it in the, put it in the hole? As long as I hold it higher than that. Well, you're still gonna get some. <laughs> Maybe not. Right, right here. Theodore, is this your poop on the ground, dude? Are you pooping? on piles of dirt in the shop? Yeah, I trained you better than that. What the heck? You're supposed to go outside. Empty. Empty, empty. Super empty. All right, so we are at the point that we need to get this C-clip out of here. And, oh yeah, there's definitely some air in there. Definitely some air in there. Uh, we gotta get the C-clip out, which is gonna require us to hit this faceplate in. All right. All right, let's see. This one's gonna be. There we go. So I hope you guys can see how that just uh, pushed in. And now inside here, there is a C-clip, like a snap ring, that we need to get out. So the trick here is just to jam something behind it. Well, it spins freely, that's really good. There you go. This is the C-clip I was talking about. So now, in theory, it should pull right out. It should pull right out. Uh, the issue we're gonna have is it's gonna make a mess. There's gonna be oil coming out of these ports. Yeah, put that somewhere we don't lose it. Power separator? Yeah. 
So since we didn't hook the since we didn't unhook the um, lines at the cylinder and they're still hooked through the valve, you actually have to hold the valve forward. Theodore, is that interesting to you? <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. Remember, every new subscriber gets me closer to buying Theodore some more cat food so he can stick around because I know you guys like Theodore more than you like me. We need to get, I need to get something in here or... This might require a little persuasion. Oh, never mind. It did not require a little persuasion. I almost brought back a cat over. I told you we were gonna make a mess. I told you that. <laughs> you wanna right. pick this up and just put the box in there? Hell no. You don't keep cat litter in your shop? I do. The last little bit from what I remember is that. So the issue we're running into now. The head's in the way. Yeah. How are we gonna solve that? If you gotta take these off and it slides out and lifts out here. Okay, I guess so. we're gonna have to do that. Oh, it's just blocks right there. All we gotta do is take these. Two. All right, let's do that. Yeah. Hopefully we're catching them. Oh yeah, I don't care. I think it's made for. Oh, both of them? George. It's good for the bolt, okay? Rust prevention? Yeah. Super <laughs> greasy in there, huh? My God, that's greasy. Sometimes life is greasy, Bubbles. Ooh, yeah. That's, oh, good... that's gonna smell really good the first time you fire that up. I'm gonna take some cleaner to that. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. George, what the heck is stopping us? I'm gonna try it. Yep. <clears throat> this is a joke. <laughs> I think we gotta take this out. What a joke. You shouldn't have to do that. What an absolute joke. What's holding this in? Just the, these two bolts? Or yeah. One. Take them out. Take this. We don't have to get the head out. Huh? If we take this out. Ow. We don't have to get the head out. I know. I know that. I just wanted to get this started. Because once we pull this, we're going to lose all our forward pulling force. One, two, three. All right, it's out. There you go. All right, we're gonna take this over to the workbench now and uh, start rebuilding it on the workbench. So you can see it's got all these O-rings here and uh, George thinks it's gonna slide off this way. I think it's not going to. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they actually welded this nut on here. Think it's leaking off the back? How would it? You know I mean? It would just be able to leak past these. Yeah, and then it would just build up again and cylinder. Oh boy, George has got some work ahead of him. Wire brush? No, getting these O-rings out of the center here. The what I do generally when I rebuild these, I do one for one. I pull one off, find its replacement, replace it. That way you don't have a pile here in which know which ones go where yeah, kind of yeah. thing. So yeah, you can tear these ones up, obviously because they're old. Yeah. But the new ones, I would have. Avoid doing this. Yeah. Ooh, that's right. We're gonna go ahead and call this everything, was George. Was that a flathead screwdriver? That yeah, was a flathead screwdriver. This 
So that's it. I'm gonna open up one of those new oil. Get her lubed. Yeah. You wanna get her lubed? Listen, is this a bad one? Quality. All right, yeah. don't toss the bad ones into the good pile. The yeah, you toss the bad one I into the good pile. What do you think we're working in NASA's facility here? It's a log splitter. We'll give it the old wipe down before we're done. Man, there's gonna be people tearing us up. I can't believe you're rebuilding that thing on a dirty workbench. You should be wearing a Tyvek suit. Do you want a trick to get those flat? Yeah. If you get your hook behind it without destroying it and then just run it around. I mean, I probably would have did that before I put it all the way in, mm -hmm. but that's all right. You live and you learn, right? Mm -hmm. that part's done. This part's done. Let's get this out of the way. Now comes the uh, hard part. So these outer seals are obviously pretty easy, right? Mm -hmm. I'm asking you. Yes. Yeah, those inner ones, those are gonna be a pain. Rip those ones out of there, and we'll take it over to the parts cleaner. Hey, there you go. They don't call him old fast hands George for nothing. Yeah, those rubber ones should be pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. All right, we're gonna go throw that in the parts washer, and when we're back, we'll start rebuilding it with the new parts. So we're back from the parts cleaner, and uh, George got that all taken care of. Now well he's enough. just well enough. It's a $300 log splitter. I don't know how he paid $300 for it, but found a screaming deal on Facebook Marketplace and just needed a little cylinder rebuild. That's why he's over here. Uh-oh. Uh oh! I know it does. You just gotta go like this. Just, just. There you go. I keep them around for something. Yep. Well, that's why you're over here because you don't know how to do it. <laughs> See, look at that. Perfect fit. Spring down. Spring always towards pressure. Oh yeah, dude, you're in business. Look at it, inspection, inspection time. Oh my gosh, look at this. Like this kit was almost made for this piston, huh? All right, time for the outside ones. Got one more. No. Yes, you do. Right there. What do you no. think goes in there? Oh, the C-clip? What is this from? I think it's extra. Are we yeah. that good? That's all the... Well, it fits multiple... Oh. You didn't tell me that. I did when we first started the video. Did you? Yeah. Is there a gap in there? No yeah. gap? I mean... Okay, no. All right, that's good. All right, so we've come to the conclusion that these two little O-rings belong inside here. We think. We think. We're fairly certain. And as you guys can see, this is actually welded. Oh, our light's flickering. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to throw the one-inch impact on that and break that weld and hopefully not screw it up because I don't have a die that big. Are you in reverse? Oh. Okay. Nope. 
Nothing? No. Not a budge? Uh, we're running it. Running it? Running it. He's, you heard it here first, folks. We're running it. Not replacing the seals on the inside there. Yeah, I don't know why they would do that. There's, you know, you can just punch it down, because you know? I don't think the average folk buying this wood splitter from Lowe's is, is going to... Yeah, no, they're probably just going to buy a whole new log splitter, huh? All right, George says we're running it. We're going to put it back together. It's pretty simple. We got everything rebuilt. Oh, before you... Uh, before you start putting it back together, go grab that 2,000 or 1,000, whatever we had, and let's try to get that paint off. Yeah, get some of that paint off there. All right, it's gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna put it back into the bore there. Same way it came out. You wanna lift that up a little bit so I can get this in here? Holy shnikes! <laughs> it's already going together a little hard. Right? Oh, open that valve up, would you, a little bit? It is. Oh, it is? Oh. Holy cow. Okay, hold on. Let me give her the old tippy tap with a uh, dead blow. Huh? Feels better already. Oh, yeah. That's how you know you got good seals in there. Yeah. When you can't even put it together. Muffins are not great. Yeah, the no. Doors. Listen, don't wear those in Burger King as an employee. Really? Well, I'm just saying. Think of how greasy their floors are. Yeah, muck boots. Muck uh, boots. Crop, would, crop would not recommend muck boots. Um, what oh okay okay uh so we're at the point that we can actually put this back up in the machine to make our lives way easier if you want yeah we've got it uh pretty much ready to go back in we have to do the same thing get the brass punch on here punch this back in and then uh put that new c-clip back on Okay. C clips in. Give this the old tug back. No? Well, the first time you go, it'll push back. Good and tight? Yeah. Fastest cylinder rebuilders east of the Mississippi, huh? Yeah. So less than an hour and a half. It's not too shabby, my friend. Oh, that's good. That's good and tight. Nah. That's flammable. I got a fire extinguisher. It says non-flammable right on it. Oh, does it? Yeah. Listen, listen here, folks. Non-flammable. Check that out. Fire it up. All right, so like I was saying, we got to fire up the machine to push the cylinder out. That'll put the, push this faceplate out here, and then we can uh, lock down this little retaining clip. Uh, this does have some wobble to it, which a little bit is taken out by the splitting wedge, I guess you could call it. That's quiet. It's real quiet. Yeah, that's real quiet. That's why we can't have nice things. It's just blowing all right back in. That's all right. All right, give her the one, two. Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah. That's going to smell really good the first time you fire that up. You want to put that on so it's not in the way? Yeah. Like it was it was bad before. Yeah. I don't know, man. I think you're just getting a lot of water off the cylinder. Because I don't see any more building up down here. Give her the maiden voyage. Oh yeah, look at that. Not bad for a $300 investment, huh? Shoo! All right, cylinder is rebuilt. Successfully, I may add. All right, so we got the cylinder rebuilt. Successfully, as I had said. Uh, pretty happy about that. We're gonna finish, bucks. huh? 350 bucks all in. 350 bucks all in, huh? Well, you should probably do a um, hydraulic fluid change on it. A little, a little bit of moisture in there, a little bit. All right, we're gonna finish putting this thing back together. We'll be back with you guys in a little bit. All right, so the cylinder is rebuilt. George is very happy. We split some wood on it. It works. A plus. What do you think, George? A plus, he says. Everything Elliot. Everything Elliot. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Remember, every new subscriber gets me closer to buying Theodore some more cat food so he can stick around because I know you guys like Theodore more than you like me. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you guys on the next one.